welcome to another British Motorcycle Rider video. Today I'm going to have a quick talk about rag guards on the Street Triple R. I've seen it come up on quite a few of the forums of Facebook groups now. Personally, I prefer to use Evotex products. I find them good quality and well built. R&G also make a nice rad guard, but I would advise the cheap Chinese copies. This is because if the rad guard and the radiator come together while you're riding, engine vibrations will cause the rad guard to make holes in the radiator. What's the point of a product that damages the item it's meant to protect? You will notice on the Evotech rad guard that there are rubber bungs just above the name there in the middle and in each corner. Now these stop the rad guard and the radiator coming into contact while you're riding. Installation was fairly straightforward. The only difficult bit was removing the silver side cheek here. That's because the two bolts holding it on have got Torx heads and they fitted red Loctite on it. Now this means you're meant to use heat to remove it. I didn't fancy putting any heat so close to the plastic cowls on the side. But if you've got good quality tools, you should be able to get them off without too much difficulty. On the side of the rad guard then, there's lugs that are bent over at 90 degrees so that the bottom bolt can pick up on the holes to mount it to the bike. It's as straightforward as that really. I've had the rad guard on the bike now for about 4,500 miles and I found that it does a good job of keeping muck and stones out of the radiator. That's about all you can say about a rad guard really, so I'll catch you next time. 